Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to be going through how you can make glass shaders and general transparency options in Eevee. And of course I'm using Blender 2.8 and this is all part of a much bigger course which is about how to use Eevee and trying to get the best out of it. Now it's worth saying that glass materials and transparencies are very tough for render engines and Eevee, which is faking things, does have difficulty with glass. I'm not going to show you all of those problems, I'm just going to quickly show you how you make glass and just a couple of those issues. Okay, so let's start our scene off with a monkey, a plane and an HDRI in the background. Shift A to add a monkey and Shift A to add a plane. Let's scale up the plane. Grab the monkey, Control 2 to add a subdivision surface and then right click Shade Smooth. I'm going to side view now with three on my numpad, rotating that round and placing it on the floor. Now I'm going to go across the shading tab up the top here the shading workspace, and I'm going to add an HDRI to the world tab. So I'm on world over here, shift A, texture, environment texture, and add an HDRI. You can find these from Texture Haven, and I'll add that one there. Hook that up, and go to rendered view. So we've got our scene here. So let's make our glass shader. I'll click on my monkey, go back down to object, and choose new. And in order to make a transparent shader, we need the transmission up to one. Now you'll notice that hasn't worked. First of all, we need to go to the render tab over here and choose screen space reflections. So we've got reflections now. And if I open that disclosure arrow, I've got refraction as well, but still we're not seeing our glass shader. Now quite often with these shaders, we need to press N to bring up this toolbar in the shader editor. And in this case, we go down to options and there is another option of screen space refraction. Now we can see our glass shader. If I turn the roughness down, you'll see it starts looking a bit more like glass and we can see the refractions happening there. So that's how we make our glass shader. And I'm going to quickly show you some of the issues that you might come up against. First of all, let's change the material of the floor. Let's select it and press new. And let's give this a reflective material. So metallic up, slightly darker and the roughness right down. So we can see the background, but we cannot see our monkey. That is because, if I click on the monkey again, it has screen space refraction on it. If I turn that off, you'll be able to see the reflection. So with this on, you can't see this in reflections. So just be aware that glass materials are going to have issues like this. I'm just going to add another object, so Shift A, add and a UV sphere this time. I'm going to smooth that out with a subdivision surface modifier, Control 2, and right click and shade smooth. I'm going to grab that, move it to the side, and scale it down a touch. Now at the moment, if I go around my monkey, we got a refracted ball through the monkey. And it's quite cleverly done, really. If I just click off there as well, you'll be able to see it as I go through. You can see that refracted ball. But if I give this a transparent shader, so I'll just give it the same one that I've got before, which is this one here. If I go through this, you can't see the monkey at all. You'll be able to see this easier if I add a plane. So Shift A, Mesh Plane, and I'll add that same material. So it's a transparent plane, and we can't see any transparent materials through that. Now I'm going to add a different material to these objects now. So a new material, and I'm going to turn the transmission off and turn off the screen space refractions. So let's click on the ball, add that new material to it. And we're kind of getting somewhere with our refractions. I'm going to try and improve this by adding a bit of roughness. So rotate in the X axis. So I'll quickly position it in front of my monkey and just scale it up. I'm going to give the floor as well a slightly less reflective material. So one possible solution for these problems is to make our glass seem more smeary and dirty. It's something you'll see in game car windows. They make them really smeary and dirty so you can't even see the inside of your car. That way they don't have to deal with any translucency refractions or reflections. So if I find a material that has smudges and things like that. So this is fingerprints. I can't quite remember where I got these materials from, but you can usually find these on textures.com and other places. If I drag and drop that in here, and let's show you what that will look like on our object. I'll just turn the screen space refraction off so you can see what it looks like. But if I plug that into the roughness, like that, and back to my principled BSDF with Control Shift, this is with the Node Wrangler installed, so I can press Control Shift on one of my nodes and just view that. Now we can start to see those sort of smeary shapes on top of our glass and we can adapt this with a color ramp. So 
Shift A to add, converter, color ramp, put that in there. And we can bring up those smears if we need to. And then we've got this sort of dirty glass. And when we turn on the screen space refractions, it looks pretty interesting. So those are sort of tricks and tips you could use to help out the inaccuracies of your glass materials. There is more to be said about this and I'll probably go into it in further episodes, but hopefully there's a few tips there to try and help you out. And now you'll be able to make some glass materials and be aware of the inaccuracies and the difficulties with refractions and translucency. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps.